I put on my perfume and I run it all over you. In this video, oh my. Britney Spears Perfume, the song, is one of my all time favorite Britney ballads. In today's video, I'm going to be opening, unboxing, and smelling the Britney Spears Perfume gift set for the first time. I'm gonna sniff the perfumes first, try to kind of guess what they smell like, and then dive into the exact notes. I have wanted to smell Britney Spears perfumes for such a long time. I've never smelled any of Britney's perfumes. And so I thought it would be the best idea to get a gift set that had four of her fragrances. It has Curious, Fantasy, Midnight Fantasy, and Britney Spears' Private Show. Let's put on a private show. Oh, that's also a really good song. Very underrated, honey. Yes to this gorgeous glory promo image on the back of the perfume box. I live for a good picture of Ms. Britney Spears. I am ready to try the curious. I live for the little bottle. I mean, it is a good quality little bottle here. Ooh, fruity. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was not expecting this. I was expecting this to smell like straight up candy, but it does not. I'm kind of getting like a peach or like a mango vibe. Very feminine. I'm getting no shade. Smells like a conditioner. It does. Smells like fresh, clean hair. This is really not what I was expecting. Not my favorite fragrance. All right, so this was Britney Spears, curious. Let's read the notes. A lively, bright, and effervescent fruity floral aimed at 20-somethings with attitude. The curious woman is romantic, independent, and mischievous, one who's not afraid of risk. This is Britney Spears' first fragrance in partnership with Coty, launched in 2004. It became an instant hit with the public. The composition is based on the notes of white flowers. Okay, I am getting, I'm getting a floral fruit. White flowers surrounded with vanilla and musk nuances. It opens with fresh lotus, mouth-watering pear. Okay, I said mango, and I think I said peach. Did I say peach? It's like a peach pear moment. Mouth-watering pear and magnolia live for that movie. Tom Cruise, Julianne Moore, you have to watch it. The intensive floral heart is composed of tuberose, jasmine, and pink cyclamen. The sensual base is composed of musk, vanilla, and precious woods. Okay, I'm kind of getting a vanilla fluffiness now. So it went from, to me, like a fruity, fruity mango, which I now understand as pear, I'm getting the musk. I don't really know if I'm getting a full vanilla moment, but I'm getting like the woodsy floral fruit. Up next, we're gonna smell fantasy. All right. If you order this online and you're worried these are gonna come broken, don't worry, honey. These are secured. Oh, I really like the fantasy bottle. These little like green Wizard of Oz emeralds. All right, fantasy. Oh, mama. This is what I was needing. You're a fantasy, honey. Oh, wow. I'm getting like a dark twisted cotton candy, raspberry. This is like woodsy, fruity, vanilla, smoky. This is amazing. Oh my God, this is amazing. Oh, this is what I wanted. This is like a little bit twisted. This is not super, super feminine. Like there's a, there's a really crazy feminine energy to this, but then it's kind of like added and twirled in with like a smokiness. I'm really getting like a smoky, fruity, vanilla, raspberry, black currant energy. I need to find out what the notes in Fantasy are. Fantasy is the second fragrance by Britney Spears and was launched in 2005. This is a love potion locked up in an attractive bottle adorned with Swarovski crystals, bitch. Oh my God, really? Swarovski? She's not playing around. Fantasy is a sensual and gourmand. <laughs> Fantasy is a sensual and gourmand scent. It opens with fruity mix of lychee, golden quince, and kiwi. The provocative heart is composed of jasmine and white 
chocolate. The base combines orris root, musk, and woods. Okay. It is very sweet. I really smell the woodsy element to this. I took it as smokiness, but I now understand it's woods. I really got the fruit element right away. And this is the type of like really, really sweet sugary fragrance that I was really expecting from Brittany. I love that there's like this twisted dimension of a woodsy element to kind of contrast the really intense sugary sweet scent. So far between the two, I am living for fantasy. Fantasy is my bitch. Next up is Midnight Fantasy for that Night Owl honey. This is, I'm going to assume, a darker moment. I like, it is a blue, a really deep, rich blue bottle. It has a light blue Swarovski moment. I feel rich. All right, so I've already sprayed on both wrists. Let me spray right here at the neck. Oh, bubble gum, bitch. Am I getting bubble gum? Oh my, wait. Oh, this is very fluffy, sugary candy. Smells like cream, like whipped cream, but like maybe a blueberry moment? Let's put on the prize. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so Brittany has launched her fourth fragrance for a younger audience, Midnight Fantasy. Now on the dark blue bottle, Swarovski crystals resemble real stars. I don't know about that. Night flowers and exotic fruits make it mysterious and appealing like forbidden fruit. In the top notes, there are exotic framboise, raspberries, bitch! Framboise, it's not raspberry. Did I not say raspberry? Framboise, I'm assuming that is raspberry in French, honey. Uh, black cherry and plum. The heart features a harmonious dialogue of night orchid, freesia and iris, amber musk and vanilla create a dark and warm trail. Fun, what a happy trail this is. The perfume was created by Caroline Sebast in 2006, honey, okay. I'm into it. Okay, so we're getting plum, we're getting cherry, we're getting raspberry. I'm getting the vanilla. Really fluffy. I'm still getting... Wow, this is really pretty. Really, really pretty. I've never smelled something like this before. The two fantasies are my winner so far. Okay, honey, last but not least, we're going into... Oh, oh. Let's put on a private show. Britney Spears' private show. Wicked, wicked, wine on me, wicked. Slip over here, watch me wind it and twig it. I'll spray it on my actual wrist. Here we go. Interesting. This is a little more mild than I was expecting. It's very soft, it's very subtle. The other three were very, very the over the top, they were really bold. I'm kind of getting some black licorice energy. I'm getting a sweet black licorice maybe a cocoa moment, honey. I'm getting a chocolate moment. Let's dive into the notes for Private Show. Britney's like, I love chocolate. In July 2016, Britney Spears launched Private Show, the 20th fragrance, you go girl, in her collection, the new pillar scent after Curious from 2004, Fantasy in 2005, oh, there's Believe 2007, and Radiance from 2010. The new fragrance represents an expression of her love for Dolce de Leche, white flowers and iced coffee. Oh my freaking God, Britney did not create a fragrance for her love of Starbucks fraps, honey that she likes to throw at those pesky paparazzi. Dolce de leche, or is it Dolce, Dolce de leche? Dolce de leche. I tried that ice cream, Hagen dazs It was really delicious, but I don't know if, am I? Okay, it's very sweet actually. I'm kind of getting the coffee. I am kind of getting the coffee. I love that Brittany's like, I want my perfume to smell like iced coffee. <laughs> It kind of works. I can just so see Britney, like with her sunglasses, like in the lab, just being like chewing her gummy, like, can we make it smell like iced coffee? Like as she's sipping her iced coffee. <gasps> a queen, a queen, queen of iced coffee fragrances, bitch. Oh my God, I live. Iced coffee, I can't get over that. This video needs to end right now. Iced coffee. Iced coffee. Okay, Private Show celebrates one of my biggest passions. Oh, we are getting a quote from Miss Brittany herself. Private Show celebrates one of my biggest passions, dancing. What? <laughs> what do you mean? I thought it was iced coffee. Dancing.
dancing. Okay, well, I kind of get that from like the music video for Private Show. She was like, work it, work it. Why didn't work it? I remember that music video it was very dancey dancey, very Britney. But okay, I thought maybe she's getting a lot of energy from the iced coffee, honey. Okay. It is, it is inspired by the electric energy I feel when I'm performing, whether during rehearsals or on stage during my show. I wanted my fans to have an uplifting, sexy scent that empowers them to achieve their dreams. I feel like that's totally accurate. I now want to run out there and just chase my dreams. Let's put on a private show. The composition is floral, fruity, gourmand, expected to be more mature than the fantasy line. Okay, I get it. If by mature they mean like not as strong a fragrance, I get it. It's still sweet. I really now am getting this very, very sweet like iced coffee moment. It's developing. When I first smelled it, I just, it was very faint, but now it is kind of, I guess, brewed. And now we're getting a full sugary iced coffee treat. Expected to be more mature than the fantasy line, it opens with sweet and fresh notes of clementine, nectarine, and coffee with whipped cream. Didn't I say it kind of smelled like cream? Did I say it smelled like cream? The heart mixes gourmand notes of dolce de leche with white flowers of orange blossom and sambac jasmine. The warm dry down consists of luminous amber and sensual musk. A warm dry down? Is that what we're experiencing right now? The fragrance is available in a diamond shaped bottle and eau de parfum concentration. Okay. My number one, fantasy. My number two, midnight fantasy. Number three is private show. And my number four is curious, curious, curious. These are the cutest bottles. I feel like these bottles like are the definition of Britney, especially these three. And I feel like, you know, she incorporated a lot of these perfume bottles in her music videos, which I will never forget. Also lived for the campaign images that we got from the early perfumes. I was living for the commercials. I was living for the print ads for these. I love the Curious commercial where she was like in her hotel room and there was like the mysterious man like going into his hotel room, but the ad was like Britney looking at the camera and then behind her, it was the man. And it was just like, I'm curious. Like it was curious. The fantasy perfume ad was like dream within a dream. She like fell asleep in a rainforest. It was very Alice in Wonderland. I lived. Have you guys ever smelled any of Britney's perfumes? Please let me know what your favorite scent is out of her entire range. I mean, honey, she has so many perfumes. I'm literally just cracking the surface with this gift set. I'm going to keep my eyes out for maybe another gift set of her perfumes because honey, I am a ride or die for Britney. I live for Britney. I support her. I love her. She is a pop star. She is a musical artist. She is a musical genius and one of the most celebrated and talented artists of our time, honey. The visuals she has given us, the videos, the songs, she is pop royalty and I will support her from now until the end of time. Live for Britney and I live for these perfumes and I can't wait to hear about what scents you guys live for out of her line. Let me know in the comments. If you like this video and you want to see me do more perfume unboxing reactions, please give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to smash the bell because then you'll be notified every time I upload new content. And until my next video, Bye guys! Let's put on a private show.